John Tavares of the Toronto Maple Leafs in the NHL talks about racism and he says racism in hockey. We have a lot of work to do to make a difference. I think it's really important to acknowledge the recognition of steps that have been taken over the last few years while improving, eliminating racism in our game. But we have a lot of work to do with learning and understanding and how we can continue to apply that and make a difference to continue to make our game better and that much more inclusive. It's something we addressed as a team. Mark Frazier, who works as the Toronto Maple Leafs in player development role with the team's equality, diversity, and inclusion group has been instrumental for the club. Navarre said Mark has come in and been a big part of some of the learning process in the sessions we have had with him. Racism is not something I've ever had to deal with and really truly understood what that would be like. So taking the time to understand what it's like to be in someone else's shoes, I've had discussions with other players around the league with Wayne Simmons and P.K. Supan as well. P.K. Supan is a defenseman on the New Jersey Devils, former Montreal player. John Tavares is on Toronto Maple Leafs. He is a former, in the captain of the Maple Leafs, he's a former captain of the New York Islanders, my favorite team. Wade Simmons used to be a uh, Philadelphia Flyer. His time in the game, Leafs coach Sheldon Keefe acknowledged steps have been made, but more are required. There's no question that there has been progress and that the conversations have are being around the league. In our organization specifically, there's a lot of conversations, a lot of education. Yet, here we are in 2022, and the incidents are still happening in our pro leagues in North America. There is an obvious reminder that we are not even close to where we need to be. We have to continue to do our part and to make our game safe and a safe place for people of color. When you see incidents like that occurring in this day and age, when you feel there's progress being made, it shows that we've got to continue to do more. Leafs winger William Nylander would have not an agreement. There's no place for racial incidents in hockey and it's unacceptable, Nylander said. Everybody's the same and everybody should have an equal opportunity. I, I totally agree here that everybody's equal, everybody should be treated as an equal, and everybody's there for one goal, to win, to live their dream which everybody should be entitled to, and to win a championship. And everybody should be treated as equal. No one should be treated any better. Of course, there are the upper echelon athletes. You know, those are the top guys. Those are the guys who are scoring all the goals and getting all the points, and, and they're, they're the best of the best on that team. So yeah, they're treated, I'm sure, a little better than everybody else. I'm sure the fans are all over them, but that shouldn't, matter who it is. The end result is equality. That everybody's treated equal. And that should be the goal. That's where hockey in the NHL is trying to get to with racism. Me personally, I haven't ever heard of racism in hockey. I haven't I've seen players and like Grant Fuhrer uh, back in the 80s who played for the Edmonton Oilers and others. One, you know, elite now is on the Devils. Like I said, P.K. Supan is a very big, very important defenseman on that team. He's very important. You let me know what you think of racism in the NHL, but I agree with uh, William Nylander. Everybody's the same and everybody should have an equal opportunity. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you for your support as I continue to give you sports here, if it's happening in sports, it's ha happening here on Sports Rules. Thank you very much. Take care. Be safe. And be safe.